Hey guys and welcome back to another video in the crochet basic series. In today's video I will go over the basic crochet stitches, so chain, slip, single half, double, double and triple crochet stitch. I'll show you how to do them and what they look like and I'll also talk a little about how the crochet terms differ in the US and UK. I always use US crochet terms, but when following a pattern you'll want to make sure which terms are used, because stitches do have different names in the UK and US. And to make things even more complicated, they sometimes use the same terms for completely different stitches. Grab some yarn and a crochet hook and follow along, there's no better way to learn. You want to make sure your hook size matches the yarn you use, there's usually a suggestion on the yarn label. When you start crocheting, you need to have the first loop on the hook, and to get that, we're going to make a slip knot. To do that, we're going to take our yarn and wrap it around the fingers, so the working yarn goes over the yarn tail. You can grab this joint between your finger and thumb, and have the working yarn behind the loop you just made. You can now take your crochet hook, and go through this loop, and grab the yarn. And pull up a little loop, just like that. Now you can take both the yarn tails, and pull until this knot here is tightly closed. You'll usually end up with a loop that's a bit too big. To adjust it, just grab the working yarn and pull until this loop is just big enough. And now we can start with our chain stitches. We're going to yarn over, which means the working yarn will go behind and over the hook. And then we can pull it through the loop on the hook. So we're going to wrap the yarn over the hook and pull through. Yarn over, and pull through. Yarn over, and pull through. And here we have it, our chain stitches. It's a very simple but a very versatile stitch that is used in many many patterns. Next is the slip stitch. When you go into the stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And then we're going to pull the same loop through the loop on the hook. So we're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up loop, and then pull through the loop on the hook. Go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up loop, and pull that loop through the loop on the hook. Show you one more time. As you can see, it's a very short stitch, and it's not often used to actually create fabric, but it is a very useful stitch. For example, when crocheting in rounds, you can use it to close up your rounds. So you're going to go into the first stitch, and make a slip stitch, and here you have it. The round is perfectly closed. Also, it creates really cool effects when used in combination with other stitches. This ribbon here was created by crocheting back and forth alternating rows of single crochet stitches and slip stitches. And it's often used in combination with other stitches in crochet lace patterns. Next up is the single crochet stitch, which is called the double crochet stitch in the UK. To do the single crochet stitch, you're going to go through a stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over again, and pull through both loops on the hook. So, go into the stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. So, you go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. And I'll show you one more time and pull through both loops on the hook. This is a slightly taller, kind of a square stitch, and being someone who primarily makes toys, this is the stitch I use most often. The study here is crocheted with single crochet stitches, and as you can see here, it creates this nice tight fabric that doesn't let the stuffing show through. And now we're getting into taller stitches, and next up is a half double crochet stitch, which is called half treble crochet stitch in the UK. To do the half double crochet stitch, before we insert our hook into the stitch here, we're going to wrap the yarn around it once, so we have this extra loop on our hook. We're going to go into the stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. We're going to yarn over, and pull through all three loops on our hook. So, we're going to yarn over once, so we have this one extra loop here. We're going to go into the stitch, 
yarn over and pull up loop yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook gonna yarn over once go into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook so yarn over go into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook and this is what it looks like taller than the single crochet stitch but still quite thick creating this dense fabric next we'll be making the double crochet stitch which is called the treble crochet in the uk we're gonna take our yarn and wrap it around our hook once so we have this extra loop here we're gonna go into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop so now we have three loops on our hook we're gonna yarn over and pull through the first two loops so we still have two loops left we're gonna yarn over and pull through the last two loops so wrap it around your hook go into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through first two loops yarn over and pull through last two loops so wrap it around go into the stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the first two yarn over and pull through the last two so we go into the stitch yarn over and pull through the first two yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the hook and as you can see it's quite a tall stitch and creates a much looser fabric than the previous stages and the last one i'll show you today is the triple crochet stitch this one is called the double treble crochet stitch in the uk so we're gonna take our yarn and wrap it around our hook but not just once we're gonna do it twice so we have two extra loops on our hook we're gonna go into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and now we have four loops on our hook we're gonna yarn over and pull through the first two loops so now we have three loops left we're gonna yarn over pull through the next two loops so now we have two loops left and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through the last two loops so we're gonna wrap it around the hook twice so we have two extra loops we're gonna go into the stitch and pull up a loop gonna yarn over and pull through the first two loops so now we have three left yarn over pull through the next two so we have two left yarn over and pull through the last two loops on our hook so wrap it around twice go into the stitch yarn over and pull up the loop yarn over and pull through the first two yarn over and pull through the next two yarn over and pull through the last two and that's what the triple crochet stitch looks like it's the tallest of the ones i showed you today in theory you could make even taller stitches by wrapping the yarn around your hook three four five times but these stitches aren't used very often even the most complicated patterns are usually a combination of these basic stitches sometimes they also use other techniques for example there are different ways you can insert your hook into or around the stitch i will link to these videos in the description if you like this video make sure to subscribe and hit thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't if you like what i do and want to support me check out my pattern and toy stores i will leave a link in the description box below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one